Good day to you, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to my channel. I am John, and today we're going to talk about all these celebrities that promised to leave if Trump got elected. Now, it's been three days now since Election Day, so they've had plenty of time to pack up and buy their tickets. <laughs> But it doesn't look like they're doing it, according to Fox News here. Trump victory, Hollywood elite, who vowed to leave U.S. if he won, are all talk, no walk. That's right. They do it every time. They, they do it every time. Barbara Streisand, Sharon Stone, and Cher are among those who said they would leave if... There they are. Irrelevant. <laughs> Completely irrelevant. <laughs> Cher and Barbara Streisand, I can't tell you the last time they had a, uh, a a song on the charts. And Sharon Stone, I can't tell you the last time she had a movie. I mean, maybe she has had some indie movie or something that I don't know about. But uh, don't know much about them anymore. Let's see who else? Who else said they were going to leave? Uh, uh, da, da, da. Every four years, we hear the same recycled rhetorics from celebrities. <laughs> it's all talk and no walk. Whoopi Goldberg, Miley Cyrus, Amy Schumer, George Lopez. They pr they promised they were going to leave. Uh, this was uh, her first run. Cyrus wrote, my heart is broken into a 10,000, 100,000 pieces. I am moving if Donald Trump is my president. That was in 2016, and uh, she never did. She never did leave. And Amy Schumer is a kind of an irrelevant comic. I'm not really sure why she is st still, uh, I guess, A-list or, or whatever she is. I don't know why people still talk about her. Any movie that I've seen that she does has just been terrible. Uh, her, her act is stale and not even very funny. I don't know. Don't know. But, yep, she's still here. <laughs> she hasn't left. Hasn't left yet. Talent is only 50% of an actor's castability. The other half is based on fan appeal. So, there you go. That's that's probably a good reason. Now they've realized. They, they, they did that big push to, to try to get uh, their uh, puppet installed in the White House. And I say that because... She's the one that's not going to release the Diddy list or the Epstein list. I have a feeling that it's not going to be long after Trump becomes president that we're going to get to see the Diddy guest list or the Epstein guest list. We haven't seen those yet. We have no idea. There has not been one single arrest made in the Epstein uh Scandal, the Epstein investigation, not one arrest. Now, he was uh, convicted of, of child trafficking and uh, all that other stuff, you know, for his island where people could go and have sex with a minor and all this other stuff, blah, blah, blah. They proved that. They proved that he was doing that, him and his cohort. But there were people, <laughs> there were other people involved, okay? It wasn't just him and her. There were people going to that island, and no one has gotten arrested for going to that island. You know, that's that's uh, that's going to be interesting. We're going to see. We're going to see if he's going to release those uh, release that information. There's another one. Christina Applegate says she was going to leave. Do these people forget where they got their start? I mean, Christina Applegate was on Married with Children. If there wasn't a uh, male misogynist show any worse than that one, I, I have no idea. But it was funny as hell, and we all loved it, and it's considered a classic. And that's where she got her start. Uh, uh, Sharon Stone. Look at look at uh, where Sharon Stone got her start. What, uh, Basic Instinct, where she uh, she gave us all a, a, a vad shot. <laughs> you know, did she forget that? Did she forget where that all came from? You know? I don't know, man. Other people said they were going to leave. Megan Rapinoe, the, the, uh, she said she was going to leave a while ago after the whole, uh, the whole uh, soccer thing blew up in her face. She said she was going to leave. She hasn't left. These people aren't leaving. They're, they don't want to leave. America Ferreira, 
She said she was going to leave. Let's see. Uh, America said, sick that Donald Trump is president again. She is devastated that Kamala lost. She thought the country she lived in was better than that. But she ain't packing her bags. Sharon Stone again. Cher again. Uh, Game of Thrones vet Sophie Turner pledged to get the F out of America and move back to her home country, United Kingdom. Go ahead. You're right. That's your home country. Go back to your home country. Go and uh, get arrested for uh, talking bad about the Muslims in your country. Go ahead. Go. Go, go, go. Billie Eilish stopped in the middle of a performance to start crying. A performance in Tennessee <laughs> to start crying that, that Trump got elected. Raven Simone is another one. You know, a totally irrelevant actress who hasn't been popular in years. Uh, Ariana Grande. Christina Applegate again. I loved Christina Applegate. I, she, once again, Anchorman. She was an Anchorman, for God's sakes. <sighs> These people, they make the movies, but, you know, when it comes to, to stuff in the real world that, that kind of reflects the movie that you made, it, 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 you're not okay with it now? She's in bad shape, too. She's got MS, multiple sclerosis, and my, my mother had that, so... I know what she's going through. I feel I feel bad for her on that aspect of it. But they're they're still here. Cardi B was another one said she's going to leave. Now the two that I really was uh wor was worried about <laughs> was Mark Hamill. He still hasn't changed his little banner here. He was completely silent on election day. It didn't say a word all of election day. And we finally got something from him on the 6th, which was uh, two days ago, and he hasn't said anything since. They say we get the leaders we deserve. Either that has just been disproven, or this is not the America we all thought we were living in. Well, Mark, this is the America that we all thought we were living in. Now, this is the one that we wanted, and we proved it. We proved it. So, Mark, I'm sorry, man. But he hasn't, you know, he was... Every day, bid, boom, boom, boom. Just Trump is, uh, we can't wait until election day because then we'll never see Trump again and da, 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 and this and that. And no one has, uh, you know, he, he's got nothing else to say. Another one was Mark Ruffalo. Mark Ruffalo, husband, father, actor, blah, blah, blah. Uh, he, has, he reposted something on November 5th, which was election day. And that was it. He hasn't said anything, nothing. The last thing that he actually said was, that's right, Mr. President, Ali Young 13 is a hero and so are the native youth. I don't know what he's talking about. I, uh, I guess it's a, a, a Native American community or something. And then he, today's election day, you need to find your polling location. Please vote or please text Mark, blah, blah, blah. Doesn't look, ain't looking much like the Hulk anymore. I don't think he could pull off the Hulk. So, not much coming out of their camps now that uh, Trump has won, and they're they're all just I guess they're I guess they're surprised. I don't know why they're surprised. Uh, I guess they thought that they had a lot more influence than they did. Uh, with their their they have they're just actors. They're adult pretenders. As much as I respect some of them, most of them are complete morons and. They're just used to reading things off a piece of paper, off a script, off a piece of paper, and that's what they do. That whole uh, Zoom call with the Avengers, that was so cringe and so upsetting to that 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 people that I that I that I like in the movies in real life, they're just complete douchebags. Now I'm not gonna stop watching the movies. I've already said, you know, if I enjoy a movie, I don't give a crap about the actors uh politics or, or, or what they uh, what they they think about uh, situations in the world I don't give a crap I just want to enjoy the movie if they do a good job in the movie I'm, I'm happy so a few more days we'll just wait and see if uh, the plane they all have private planes so it's not like they they can't just uh, go to the airport and, and get on their plane and, and fly out of here I mean they could do they could do that they could totally do that 
they, they've got private jets or they're they can hire they can charter a plane or they can fly first class and and they've all got i'm sure villas and crap in italy and spain or wherever you know it ain't hard for them to leave so if they were going to leave you would think they'd have left by now but doesn't look like they're going anyway that's all i got today guys uh we'll talk more next time <laughs> uh if you have anything to say, leave your thoughts in the comments. Bye for now.